What's up? I'm Max Milner, um, I'm here at Swash TV having an interview and doing a little acoustic session and uh, yeah. I got started in music when I was about 60. No, well, I wrote my first song at 14, and then, but I only pl I played one thing, man. I played uh, which is the extreme, and that's the only thing I could play on guitar. But I decided to put like every song I could play to that particular instrument. Um, and yeah, I wrote one song then, and then up until then, it was probably about 17 that I was actually like, you know what, I'd like to kind of experiment and see if I can write some actual good music that. I feel could be out there and uh, yeah just kept kind of pushing through until I got to 20 I guess and then I was like yeah in fact I want to do this as a career and kind of put all of my effort into it and then I had a motorbike accident and I was like oh I can't do anything I, I, all I can do is play guitar and sing which I was blessed with that's cool and uh, then I went on for, onto the voice and it all kind of propelled after then so yeah I say the best, the best vibe of a place was at uh, the Hippodrome Casino, which is kind of, it was uh, designed by the guys at Ronnie Scotts, so it's a very, it's like a jazz bar kind of thing. But because it was London, I had a lot, and it was like late minute as well, uh, last minute, sorry, it wasn't a late minute. It was last minute. I um, I had quite a lot of my friends there and stuff, which was lovely. But more so than that, it was the whole kind of very intimate. Like scene of it, do you know what I mean? It, it, I, I I like to think it fitted my music very well. So yeah, that was that was kind of my my favourite gig to do. And other than that, like I've done lovely gigs at like the Butter Market was a great gig. And in fact, there was one time when at the Butter Market, I supported quite a few people there, like James Arthur and well, a load of people off the um, off the X Factor. And uh, we supported, well, I supported Lucy Spragan once, and uh, she she went ill that night. And they were like, oh, you're going to have to go on, like we don't have, and so we, we sorted it all out, and I went on there and did like an hour and a half set to a load of lesbians, which was great. And uh, it was very scary, but uh, a load of fun. And yeah, so that was, a, that, that was that's the kind of cool, like kind of impromptu thing where I had to, I only had like four songs prepared, and then I had to sing a good like 12, 13 to cover an hour and a half, or one hour, so. But yeah, but I'd say probably the, the Hippodrome was cool, we call it. You made me forget the reckless memories I own my heart, I owe my love You made me forget the reckless memories The best person I've seen before, like, I've, uh, I'll tell you what, the, the most enjoyable thing that I've ever watched, I was in New York two weeks ago and I, I went to this place called Terra Blues which is this incredible blues bar in, uh, in New York and uh, I went there and it was just kind of two guys on guitar, one bassist and a drummer, but they just, they blew my mind, man. It was just pure, like, blues solos for, like, 15 minutes. Like, it was it was amazing, man, amazing. And, like, yeah, that, that's that's probably the best thing that I've seen live that kind of inspired me the most, in a sense. But um, other than that, I'm seeing John Mayer very soon because he released his dates today, so I'm going to be getting them very, 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 very soon. And I can't wait because he is God. Hey, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was looking to maybe I, uh, I was gonna do one, but I might do two. I, I was gonna do. I'm definitely gonna sing "Sex Sheets," which is uh, off the EP, uh, the deleted, the acoustic deleted EP, and um, it's based on like a it's, it's a it's a kind of story situation song where it's um, it's very wordy and you kind of have to listen to the, the lyrics in it. But it's about a breakup, but like it's the it starts with, um, I say me, because I'm singing it, um, in bed, getting a phone call from my friend saying that he saw the girl who's sleeping next to me, my girlfriend, her uh, out, like, say the night before or whatever, seeing another guy, getting with another guy. And it's just basically the whole kind of craziness of a breakup, but it's, it's quite detailed. So I'm going to be singing that. And then also, um, I sing Lightly Slightly as well, which is a song. That, um, that I wrote, I literally 
I say six six months ago, and uh, it's it's about when I first got with my girlfriend, and that I didn't really care how much she liked me, just as long as she did like me, and that's basically what it's called, like me slightly, and it's it's kind of about me not caring how much she likes me, as I said, just as long as she does, and yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like the EP's the EP's taken us um, a good a good like five months. We've I've been writing the music for the last like seven months, but uh, we finally got to the point where I was like, well, actually, it's called the deleted EP because say about six months ago we decided to try and make the EP or make some records, and when we started making them, they came out very commercial and very. Um, it just wasn't the right sound for me. And because at the moment I don't feel like I know what my sound is, we decided to kind of strip it back to an acoustic setting. What it's kind of what I do live. It's when I when when people come to see me live, all I have is a guitar, so it's very acoustic, it's very stripped back, and I wouldn't want to make I didn't want to make a sound that doesn't match me singing live and actually what I do. So um, it's it's almost like a little band in a room, just a very small acoustic band. It's called the deleted EP because we almost deleted that last piece. And uh, every time we went to go and work, we'd be like, oh, should we work on the deleted EP? Should we work on the deleted EP? And it got to that point. And because we stripped it back so much, we called it the acoustic deleted EP. But yeah, we released it on Friday and uh, it was so exciting, man, to see it to see it propel up the charts. And now it's obviously flown back. But in that day, man, we got to number 16, which blew my mind. And uh, yeah, now we're just kind of promoting it and. Um, Wait till it comes out on the 19th of May, really. It's exciting. Well, when I think about it, all the pieces fall into place. Now that I'm aware, I'm noticing little things. I'm a detective, busting for clues in my home. She's too protective, for scared of me using or even seeing her phone. She knew I'd check, she should have logged down a text. Yeah, for the rest of the year, we just want to be gigging and, and writing and, I mean, mostly just <clears throat> trying to get the music out there and just playing to people and putting things up on YouTube because obviously I've got a channel and stuff like that. And yeah, just getting, getting as much stuff as we, sorry, uh, getting as much as we can get out there because, I don't know, just working hard, working hard, like writing as much as we can, playing as much as we can, I can, yeah. If we could put your phone on shuffle and see what yeah, that I'm scared about this part, man. Right, here we go. Shuffle. Uh, shuffle. Oh, no. Shuffle. Oh, it's Maria Mina, which is blessed. Like, she's amazing. Um, it's really embarrassing. I've just got this album, so I don't actually know this song. And I'm actually, she's a bit crazy, man. Let's go to another one. <laughs> Alright, this is Louis C.K. This is a, a comedy piece. He's ridiculous. Um, it's not very helpful either, really, is it? Let's be fair. Uh, back up to shuffle. Yes! The deleted EP. My record. <laughs> That's the one. That's the shuffle. Um, yeah, that was pretty good. I'm happy with that. I fucking know now She says if I let her book out the door right now I'd hate myself and I'm warning for this I said I'm still not the willing to take that risk But a punchline is better listen to this Bitch you're fucking my mate You lie to my face You're taking the piss She says I'm looking you in the eyes with Bruce I'm telling you the truth so Everything's at maxmona.com www.maxmona.com um, I've got a YouTube channel, Max Milner Official, but it's just YouTube forward slash Max Milner. Um, Twitter is at Max Milner 7. Facebook is Max Milner Music. They're actually not all the same, which is a little bit annoying. But you can find it all on maxmilner.com. The EP is out on iTunes. It's called the Acoustic Deleted EP. And, uh, yeah. There goes that light. Telling me she never cheats When I realize that I've been sleeping in a sex 